In question 46, at a depth of 2 km in an ocean, what is the force acting on a window of area 25 cm cross 20 cm of a submarine at this depth? The interior of which is kept at sea level atmospheric pressure. The density of sea water is 1030 kg per meter cube and G is equal to 10 meter per second square. So the four options are in front of you. Let us solve this question. The student, the pressure at the depth H is given as P is equal to P0 plus rho g h now since the interior of the submarine is also at the atmospheric pressure on subtracting we get the excess pressure delta p is equal to rho g h the force will be equal to this excess pressure into the area of the window this will be dear students equal to 2000 that is the kilometer height h now g will be equal to 10 the density is given as 1030 the area will be 0 0.25 into 0. And on solving this, we get a value of 1.03 into 10 raised to power 6 Newton. And hence, dear students, the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Now, let us move to the question number 47. Question 47 says, a wheel with 20 metallic spokes, each 0 0.5. 5 meter long is rotated with a speed of 4 revolution per second in a plane normal to the horizontal component of earth's magnetic field bh is given as 0 0.5 gauss what is the emf induced between the axle and the rim of the wheel so the four options are 1.57 into 10 to the minus 4 volt 3.14 into 10 to the minus 3 volt 7.85 into 10 to the minus 4 volt or 6.28 into 10 to the minus 3 volt this one the emf induced is written as half b omega into r square here b is given as to be equal to 0 0.5 gauss so this will be 0 0.5 into 10 raised to power minus 4 tesla a factor of half remains here omega is given as 4 revolutions per second so this will be 4 into 2 pi radian per second and r is given as 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 square on solving this, we get a value of 1.57 into 10 raised to power minus 4 volt. And hence, for this question, the correct answer turns out to be option number 1. Now, moving on to the question number 48. Question 48 says, suppose a pure SI crystal has 5 into 10 raised to power 28 atoms per meter cube. It is doped with 1 ppm concentration of pentavalent arsenic. Calculate the number of holes Ni is equal to 2.5 into 10 raised to power 16 per meter cube and the four options are 8 into 10 to the power 9 per meter cube 1.25 into 10 to the power 10 per meter cube 6.25 into 10 to the power 22 per meter cube or 4.5 into 10 to the power 22 per meter cube dear students now let us solve this question one thing to note here is that the thermally generated electrons which is 2.5 into 10 to the power 16 per meter cube concentration is negligible as compared to the doping production so we can write down that Ne is approximately equal to Nd. That is the doped concentration. So the doped atoms will be equal to having a concentration of 5 into 10 raised to power 28 divided by 10 raised to power 6 as it is doped with 1 ppm concentration. So this will be equal to 5 into 10 raised to power 22 per meter cube concentration. Now, this one we can write down that Ne into NH will be equal to Ni square. So, this will give us that NH will be equal to Ni square by Ne. So, Ni square will be 2.5 into 10 raised to power 16 square by Ne. That will be equal to 5 into 10 raised to power 22. And this will be equal to 1.25 into 10 raised to power 10 per meter cube. And hence for this question, the correct answer is clearly option number 2. Now moving on to the question number 49. Question 49 says, an object is placed 10 centimeter in front of a concave mirror of radius of curvature 10 centimeter. The magnification of the image is, dear students, here in the radius of curvature, r is given to be equal to 10 centimeter so the focal length can be written to be equal to r by 2 and that will be equal to 5 centimeter this is the magnitude however as the mirror is concave the focal length will be minus 5 so dear students we can write down further from the mirror equation that 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f so 1 by v 
plus instead of u we substitute minus 10 as it is given that the object is placed 10 centimeter in front of the concave mirror this will be equal to minus 1 by 5 on solving which we get a v to be equal to minus 10 centimeters the magnification is given as minus v by u so this will be equal to minus of minus 10 by minus 10 so this will be minus 1 and hence for this question the correct answer is option number now let us move to the question number 50. Question 50 says a man can swim with a speed of 4 km per hour in still water. He crosses 1 km wide river making strokes normal to the river current. The river flows steadily at 3 km per hour. How far down the river he drifts when he reaches the other bank? Now dear student, as the man is making strokes normal to the river current, so the time of crossing will be minimum and it will be simply equal to the width of the river that is 1 km divided by the speed of the man with respect to river that is 4. So in 0 0.25 hours he crosses the river. The drift is given by if it is d then it is given by the velocity of river into the time of crossing and this will be equal to 0 0.25 hours into the speed of the river that is 3. So this will be equal to 0 0.75 kilometers this can also be written as 750 meters and hence for this question the correct answer is option number three dear students this concludes the discussions of the physics portion of the pre-neat mock test number two i hope you understood all the solutions i wish you all the very best for your future endeavors thank you for watching mm -hmm.